What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. In the next few minutes I'm going to do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Casper against USDT. Um, so it's kind of like an update because the last time I did an analysis on Casper the price was like right here. And I thought it would find support at around uh, 14 cents. Eventually it dropped down a little bit lower. You do see that the 14 cents was significant because it dropped down and then it took a break retest here. You can see the green candle and after that went down again. Uh, but to be honest, this trend line is still holding on very well. And it kind of depends on how you draw the trend line. See so if you draw it like this, it hasn't had too many hits. But if you draw it like this, which I think is the correct way to draw it, uh, here you saw some small fake out. Uh, but it's still holding very well. So I actually think Casper is going to go up again from, um, yeah, I said it would find resistance here at around 18.70 cents, which it did. Uh, and price has dropped down quite a bit from there. Let's see. That's not it. About 17%. Um, and now is at an interesting level again at uh, 15 and a half cents. Um, of course, because of the trend line, but also because of the FIPS. So I think now Casper is ready to go even higher, in my opinion. Um, and this is not financial advice, just my opinion based on technical analysis. Uh, but I think the next resistance will be around 20 cents. So we'll probably see something like this. It might have some, some difficulty um, getting up from here. So you might see something like this. But eventually, I do think that we will not. Well, maybe some small support here at this level at 1880 uh, or 1860. But eventually, I think we are going to break through to the 20 cents. So then we would get something like this. And in the best case scenario, we will then find a break retest off of the 18.7 cents. And then a long term price prediction of mine is uh, 23 cents. There's just a big resistance area there together, there together with the FIPS. And um, because it's some sort of round number um, <clears throat> that creates extra uh, confluence with it. Um, so yeah, pretty bullish on Casper, to be honest. I mean, in, in the worst case scenario, we will see some sort of consolidation. Um, but I don't think that's happening. There's still a lot of potential for Casper. It's a 400 million market cap. So, you know, that's a potential. The project is good too. So um, in my opinion, there's no reason why we wouldn't read reach uh, 23 cents um, in a matter of weeks, maybe two, three weeks. And in the upcoming days, I think we can see a move such as, um, let me draw it for you once again. Upcoming days, we could see something like this. In my opinion, and maybe even if Casper is very bullish, we will see something like this. So that it breaks the 20 cents and instantly goes up again, obviously not in one move. Uh, but still, that's quite possible. Uh, I don't think that that 18.70 cents resistance area uh, is going to give us a lot of resistance still. So, um, yeah, I might even buy into this. But again, not financial advice, just my opinion. Uh, it just looks quite good. Um, okay, it's not even listed on Binance. That's a bummer. I have to buy it on gate.io. Uh, but yeah, uh, too much rambling. That was my analysis for Casper. If you have any questions about this analysis, please let me know down in the comments. And I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. As for now, thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you on my next videos. Bye.